Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I go by the name Brunella Budisha, the queen of brunches. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to Arling. Thank you so much for the consistent support. I know it's consistent. I see you guys that are consistent. And I love you so much. Thank you. Uh, today is Sunday. Um, I didn't get up too much. I just went to church. And then I went to go get food at Pito's Kitchen. I actually went to go see a friend that moved here in December. And I had not seen them ever since like somehow they were busy when i was available mostly i was busy when they wanted to see me so they actually stay by my church not far from church so today i was like you know what let me just pass by and say hi but yeah we decided to go get food together and we got Peter's kitchen so they drove to waterfront we got Peter's kitchen then we drove back to table view parklands and then i drove back here so i'm back in the apartment i'm from church it's been a whole it's been a long week it's been a long month i know it's already, it's, it's only the 12th today but it's been such a, a long month so on this vlog still deciding uh yeah you will find content from the 1st of March, which was on a Wednesday, which I had hoped to do a weekly vlog on it. But yeah, somehow they've the weekly vlogs have just not been working out for me. They've just not been happening, happening the way I planned them to happen. Mainly because I haven't had much getting up to uh also mainly because uh i've just had like emotional storm actually i got to label it today i was very aware uh beginning of this week that i was offish you know i wasn't like myself i was just trying to figure out what label to put on my emotions because i'm someone who's very or likes to be very aware of their mo their emotions like i really do like to put a label on them so that i can deal with them based on <laughs> their label like on monday i already knew that i was just like feeling sad and in the beginning i thought it was mainly finance related but as the week progressed like yesterday not friday i actually realized i'm homesick you know it's something that i had been dodging but i was actually trying to like just like analyze the feeling before i could label it like i said so yeah to cut the, sh the story very short uh charmaine also a friend of mine helped me like knows myself <laughs> which uh, i've just been like really homesick and i honestly feel like it's because um this is actually the month that i've moved i'm almost one year here in cape town and i think subconsciously i was just like i've been alone for a freaking year like that is deep that is yeah subconsciously scary for me that was the origin of all the emotions and then luckily today i had church i was gonna go to church anyways i go to church every sunday when i'm not going to work when i'm off but like today it was a yesterday when i went to bed it was a i have to go to church i have to go to church because i feel like i'm gonna lose my mind you know obviously i will do my praise and worship in the house i will pray but you know you still need to sort of like i feel like I always need to be in the house of the Lord. It felt like I just want to be home. And right now, home for me is church. And it was good for me. Um, I'm a different person than I was last night, yesterday, the whole entire week. Probably the whole 
entire month as well this far like it was so stressful because the term itself emotional storm comes with a lot of things like literally you know when you're in the storm like you sort of like it drifts you away so i literally felt like i was drifting away from what i i'm here for what i like i asked a lot of questions i remember shamane asking me are you okay like just a random hey friend are you okay and i was just like i'm actually not okay and she's like why friend and i'm like like i feel like i don't see where i'm going like literally like what am i doing i i just feel like what am i doing here in cape town what am i am i just working what's going on am i not supposed to be doing bigger things greater things is it just work because i could work in job work if that's the case you know but i was just like i just felt like i'm just drifting and to be honest at that point like beginning of the week me feeling like what am i doing here what's going on where am i going i just feel like i'm at a standstill you know it also kind of terribly affected my relationship because now i'm just like not my usual baby self and i'm just like tend to depression and because now i feel like i'm drifting from where i want to be i just also kind of like felt like maybe being in a relationship because being in a relationship was never in the, in the plan i just felt like no like this nigga he's like distracting me it was just so it was a lot it was really a lot and i think one thing that i took from today's sermon was that you know what obviously storms will come in your life and don't miss out on the opportunities that the storm is coming with you know find a lesson from the storm dig deep into it you know sometimes yes i would say it's drifting but maybe it's drifting me from the plan that i thought i had coming here to a different one so you're yeah, just like do embrace the storm and yeah <laughs> it's a loss but yo i was so sad i was yo 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 i was really sad and you also i also didn't want to like tell people like my close friends my family my sister i told like maybe after a day or two because like who else am i gonna tell <laughs> you know you know and i don't want to tell her because i don't want to scare her because i also feel like yes evidently i'm alone here um surely my close loved ones are do think about me and are do get worried about me and are, might be concerned about me is she okay like i remember i think actually one thing that made me sad was last week i was on on a call with my son and then my son randomly said oh, mommy you know sometimes i feel bad for you and i was like why and he my son said because you're all alone and he went on as i'm still grasping on that he goes on to say yo i wouldn't cope being all by myself but i was like okay because you're a child you would go and then he says don't you get lonely mommy and i'm like i do but i literally said to my child it's the life that i chose right because at that point i didn't even know what to say to him because he's a six year old like what do you you know but sometimes i feel like maybe i should he's able to take explanations that i feel he wouldn't understand he says to me why did you choose that life mommy and i think that conversation just like was like a hit on my on my door somewhere it was just knocking on my door somewhere and i was just like then i just said no um because i like traveling which i do honestly if an opportunity to go overseas 
a rose like right now i probably go you know it makes me happy traveling it's just that like i'm saying it's my first time being alone for such a long time and yes i do frequent home like i did go home i did see my family but yeah the reality was <laughs> honey it's not glitz and glam <sighs> but yeah here i am now and i can tell you now how i dodged depression last week it was so bad during the week it was so bad like even at work like i just be so so sad like and you know when you talking to yourself or you just like yeah you're talking to yourself and you're telling yourself that i'm sad like that's how i am i'll be like like i feel that i'm sad but i'll still say to myself i'm so sad it's so sad why am i sad it's so sad you know and so i told myself i'm gonna be down and out one two three days um fourth day i need to be up that's when i started park run i went back to park run you know literally like i would literally pick myself up like i would literally drag myself out of bed open my shower get into the shower like i wouldn't even feel like a bathing like i just feel like sleeping and i'm like no 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 no, no. you need to get up now i wasn't even eating you know like no 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 you need to get up now no 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 you need to eat you haven't the last time you ate was so many hours ago you need to eat like i'd literally say put on your tights literally like but i'll put on your tights and i'll go upstairs and fetch my tights and i'll be like oh i don't want to do this and i'm like but no even if you just go and walk even if you're just walking and not actually running it's fine go get your shoes put on your shoes put in your jacket that's how i went through this week like i would like pep talk myself so this is where i am now i have um labeled how i was feeling i know how i was feeling i know what i'm going through i've diagnosed myself you know and going into the new week tomorrow is monday i need to clean my house i need to do my laundry i'm working tomorrow night so i'm gonna wake up in the morning and i should go for a run tomorrow morning and i'm gonna come back and do my laundry and then i'm gonna sleep okay ready for work well going into the week i need to there's a book that i'm reading work book that i'm reading i need to read that finish that and then i actually have like um test on it three months from now so i just want to read that i haven't really touched it and then i'll probably go do some groceries and sort my life out but like yeah my life was like a mess last week uh it was a mess and then i need to like mend things with my boyfriend because <laughs> yeah things are just like cold now like we talk but it's like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is just like another topic on its own because y'all know like i haven't had a relationship in like the long years yeah like years so there are things that will happen like or things that i uh, believe i don't believe in but i've got accustomed to like for me if we fight you don't love me it's bad so basically i have what do they call them again red red what red flags <laughs> um yeah but let's 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 chat about that on my next vlog yeah so my next vlog is gonna be red flags my red flags and then maybe we can swing in or add what's that other one deal my deal breakers yes so it'll be my red flags versus my deal breakers right yeah i'll see i'll see what i do about it but yeah anyways uh i hope i hope you guys had a better week than i did and yeah um i just want to say also i'm not a motivational speaker like please girl who where what 
Bonolo gave you motivation. <laughs> but from the little that I got from today's sermon was that, you know what? Um, I'm not a person that will just like feel hopeless, but I really was at some point going into that. So, it was, you know, from what I got from church, I would say to you, it's a normal feeling. It does happen and don't dwell too much in it always invite a god whenever obviously we, we hear these things all the time instead of worrying pray about it you know it's not practical it's really not practical like i had so much time to myself i always have so much time to myself but really like i stress i worry you know i wouldn't I wish I want to do that. I, I need to. I need to ask God to, or rather, I need to let God in fully so that I'm always reminded that when I do worry, when I lose hope, pray. Praise, you know. So, yeah, it's just God being the center of it all. So, we will worry about things, but if we accept that god is in control of our lives he is in charge of our lives in charge rather than control we should be good easier said than done i know so maybe if we could like post try to grow our spiritual growth together i'm kidding Bopilo as a group work it's not um but i hope that you guys are blessed to do seek what will be beneficial and just good for you okay i've spoken a lot i always do i love you so much please like this video if you haven't liked it i hope you like it you know it's just <laughs> all over the show but i like it i made it um and i appreciate it so yeah i hope it finds you in that space as well i'm gonna be trying these matte hydramatic lipstick from avon uh it's three shades i'll tell you what they are now the purple one and then there's rosy rosy is this one i think the dark red one am i correct and then garnet is the middle one yes so me being me the cutie that i am uh i went shopping to get like aesthetic stuff to make uh, yeah my real end pictures look nice so i found this at mr price home i bought this uh the candle i think also from mr price home i didn't have this i didn't see the need of having this uh, until I had like a lot of perfume collection like until I had my perfume collection unlocked but I ended up buying it I got this from Sheet Street I just finished doing my reel I'm gonna do a review at the end of the project hi guys how y'all doing welcome back to my channel Look, there's nothing much there is absolutely nothing much going on in my life currently so it's just like bits and bits of what i get up to during the day i thought let me try do a spend the day with me but even my spend the day with me is it's just like what are we doing what are you doing what's going on you know so yeah it's just gonna be like a weekly vlog but like just bits and bits and bits of the times i did uh, record something anyways now right now i am recording about to record a tiktok Ooh, i was so busy guys <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot honestly it's a lot but i'm i'm about to do a tiktok challenge thing for um this avon campaign that we're doing me and a million tons and tons of other ladies out there it's absolutely fun it's my first brand, me recognizing a brand on my pages ever. Like, yeah, or being recognized by the brand for yeah, using their product. Yeah, because I'm not getting paid for this. 
disclaimer <laughs> but anyways um i'm gonna do the challenge using the shade hydra garnet i absolutely i thought i liked rosy until i tried all three shades on and i realized i like garnet um in my head the pink was going with it but it looks garnet <laughs> it, it doesn't look pink so you're i'm about to do that and well you won't believe it i have to go to work i think the time now is around half past four so i quickly need to do that and wash off this makeup and then get ready for work but yarm we haven't had a chat in so long what's going on what's going on let me think um nothing absolutely nothing um i'm sort of taking march out because i'm a temporarily baroque that's so cool <laughs> but yeah i'm not even gonna say my fan my finances aren't balancing no i'm like honestly like i don't have money i'm, I'm like i'm broke it almost got me into a really really depro stage but yeah to be honest my little sister helped me escape being depressed about currently not having money so yeah i almost but at the same time she was just like also like laughing at me but i like how like we both just sarcastic people and we you know we don't like become sad and cry and we'll still like giggle and laugh you know but then she was like wait are you telling me you've never been broke in your life and i'm like i really really cannot think of a time where i felt like i didn't have money and like i didn't know what to do like i didn't feel like crying because like you know um but i always say always used to say to people like when people used to cry to me and say oh i'm so broke oh friend i'm broke or yo no no like yo i'm so broke i'm just like oh, why are you crying if your rent or your shelter is covered if you have a car if your car is covered then i mean there'll always be not always be food on the there'll always be food on the table i believe like you won't go to bed hungry or rather it's a very sensitive topic and i don't want to sound like i speak from a point of privilege um i never want to do that and i think to be honest there's a lot of things that i don't talk about because i feel i always feel like i don't want to sound like you know it's from a point of privilege so it's very difficult you know i wish i could tap into this uh, conversation and just like break down how I view money um what i feel my basic needs are and you know what honestly i think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it because we probably have different basic needs right like funny i was saying funny i used to always just say to people no don't cry you know days aren't the same as long as your shelter is covered your car is covered if you drive and then there's food on the table and then i know i retracted a bit after saying that statement because i do know that actually there are people that do go to bed without eating and then maybe i can just try cover that up and say as long as you don't die from not eating you don't so i'll tell people that you don't necessarily like need to have money but like money just plays a huge role in a lot of people's lives i remember i came back in jen and and it's so annoying like I, I i get so upset with myself because i remember me and my sister living our best lives like last year G, september when she was here december when she was here you know we just like hey and then 
I remember both her and I in December were like, dude, we both know that Jen, Feb, March is gonna be the pits for us. Like, we're not doing anything for the next three months. Like, we, we are gonna be broke. And we just laughed about it. Like, yeah, we're gonna be broke. But coming back, then I went home. And Jan, obviously when you're home, you spend money. And then I, when I came back, I still had like a bit of money. But because I wasn't at my house, I wasn't really taking care of my house for a while. Like I had to like get someone to clean my house. I had to like do groceries and stuff like that. And then I, like I was left with no money. But then I was like, okay, it's fine. It's Jan. Then Feb. Um, I, I asked my sister, I remember asking my sister for money and she was like, for what? You know, like, and literally like, I wanted money to go out and I was so mad at myself, but it was what it was then. And then, um, my boyfriend, which, uh, my boyfriend now, which wasn't my boyfriend then in Feb, um, we're trying to get together because we've got history and stuff um he was just like no he wants to be with me da, 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 and he's gonna come and fab to spend some time with me so when he came i was broke and yeah he just like helped me take care of stuff in the house like groceries you know like just like basic things in the house and then he was constantly just always taking me out so i was like oh the happiest person for two weeks then he left i think he left around the 11th of feb right then i asked my sister for money my sister's like for what for what i was like no i just need money so he gave me money and then i pushed through the whole feb and then i got paid feb end of feb end of feb now and today is what i think it's the sixth and i just feel like i don't have money um money plays a huge role in my life um i'm i'm not proud of i'm not proud about it and it's actually something that i would really really like to change you know how growing up like obviously parents and payday like they just be grumpy and i don't want to be that person because to be honest my financial status has changed from last year like even after recuperating now uh jan feb march like going forth april may or through it will be um altered it'll so going forth, I don't want money to have that impact on me. You know, I don't want to be because <laughs> literally, like before my boyfriend came in, Jan, I was just like in bed, like <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I wasn't even eating, like oh, I just felt like. <gasps> but yeah, I think just moral of the story is maybe someday I will tap into how my money works for me how i use my money and it's not bad i'm not like bad with finances i just always want to have money like there must just be money at disposal yeah but now it's like i haven't gotten to a point where i need to calculate i hope i don't get to that point uh but yeah just just like i just need to now use money sparingly and just like wiser the pits but yeah anyways uh that's that in this video you're just gonna see bits and bits of what i got up to i started running again because whoa sis also just for like therapy because i got to a point where i was just like overthinking constantly thinking like oh how can i make money oh, maybe i should change my career maybe i should move to dubai maybe so yeah i got to a point where i was like mm -mm 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 -mm, this is not healthy um yeah it just affects it, it, it affects you so so much like you don't want to sometimes talk to people because you know they're gonna invite you somewhere and you're just like oh, am i supposed to tell them i don't have money <laughs> stop let me stop let me stop but yeah anyways yeah you're gonna see just uh bits and bits of what i've been getting up to this 
week i hope you guys enjoy it please hit the subscribe button if you haven't the like button of course you're gonna like this video just hit the like button <laughs> hit the like button because i might just have to depend on youtube for extra money same <laughs> b but yeah like honestly um don't worry about me <laughs> you're probably not but yeah enjoy the video i will see you at the end and on my next vlog okay I'm just stalling with you guys because the thought of going to do what I'm I need to do, what I'm about to go to do. Tedious. Let's go. One girl, not enough for me. Look, it's raining. I'm gonna go home. I was supposed to go for two rounds i went for one and it started raining thank god if i'm like this but normally on a park run i do obviously the standard two rounds it's a standard five kilometers i did two and a half and i'm just out of it we actually came to this pick and pay and i found this baby here and then I used my e bucks to get a small hot beverage. I got myself hot chocolate. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tap. Right here at the back. I'm gonna drive to the park. Ain't no way I'm walking there. Alright. Oh, I hate walking. <laughs> what more running? What a joke. Okay, son. Let's go. 30 minutes and I'm out. What a mess. I actually haven't had uh, the Buddha bottles from this place. Let me show you guys. This yeah. <coughs> when I used to work night shift, I always used to come on a Saturday. Not night shift, man, day shift. So I'd have this every second Sunday of the month. So twice. No, every second Saturday. They only open on a Saturday. And if it's raining, they don't open. I'm so tired. I am so tired. Yo, I wish someone could walk for me. Oh my word. Anyways.
It is a Sunday. I got the nicest parking. Let's go into church. Oh, <laughs> 